So these bats are extremely important to our ecosystem. Dawn Besna. I am an education specialist and the um, program coordinator. Our mission is actually to educate people about the importance of bats and hoping to inspire people to want to get involved in helping to save them. We have education animals here that are rescues, so we provide a sanctuary home for these rescued animals and then we also use them um, as uh, animal ambassadors to help us educate people and help people to uh, appreciate these amazing animals. Bat's Own is our building um, and our exhibit that we have here, but the organization for bat conservation is the organization. So the Bat Zone is our headquarters. Most of our animals are bats, but we do also have a two-toed sloth, a couple of skunks, and some owls, as well as a couple other uh, little critters. We have bats that are found here in North America, um, Michigan as well. Um, we also have species of bats found in Central and South America, um, Africa, and we have some bats from India and Southeast Asia. There's lots of things the average people can do to help with bats and bat conservation. Um, putting up bat houses in their backyard or perhaps in their neighborhood is an extremely positive way to help bats. Not only is it going to be giving bats a new place to live or habitat in their area, they're also going to be um, providing their neighborhood with natural insect control or pest control as well. So putting up bat houses is a great way to help support bats and to reduce the amount of pesky insects in the neighborhood. Um, you can also do things like planting a night garden or using wildflowers that attract nighttime pollinators like moths. Um, moths of course will provide food for the bats so um, and also avoid pesticide use. Pesticides can be harmful to bats. Bats in Michigan we have nine species here in Michigan and they are all insect eaters and they can eat almost their entire body weight in insects nightly which could equal 3,000 insects per bat. We do our best to, to save as many bats as we can or provide homes for these rescued animals that have no place else to go. Um, but sometimes it can be challenging to raise funds for new caging, of course the food that they require. So sometimes being a nonprofit, um, we definitely depend on donations and our programs and ticket sales here at the Bat Zone to help support our rescue missions and support the rescued animals that we house here. We have open hours on the weekends, um, Friday evening, Saturday and Sunday, and uh, people are just here to see the bats. Um, bats are very hard to observe in the wild and there's not a lot of places that um, have them on display. So this is a pretty big attraction for people just to come and see these animals that are so hard to really get a good look at.